Uh, we have here a beautiful Quantum Edge 3 metallic silver. This power chair has eight miles, so it was only used for less than a week, practically brand new. It has four electrical functions. It has the 12-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric feet. It has other features, which I'll cover as we go along. But this is a Quantum Edge 3, the latest in technology from Pride Mobility from the Quantum Department. If, you've, if you're familiar with the Quantum chairs, these are high-end quality power chairs. They're very high quality, very dependable power chairs. So to make all the functions go up, back, recline, legs, whatever you need to do, all of it has to be done through here. So on this joystick, what you would do, there's a button on the left. This is the button you turn the power on. Once the power is on, you keep pushing the button forward until you see a picture of your seat on the screen. So I'm going to keep pushing. Okay, there we go. First picture. So now you see a picture of the seat on your screen. Whatever portion is yellow, it's what's going to be the function that's going to be available for you through the joystick. So right now I want to start with the seat lift. So I want only the base right here, the cushion to be yellow. So by moving the joystick sideways, you can change the colors on your seat. So I'm going to keep going sideways until, there we go. So now the yellow is here. That means it's the seat lift. Now you can use your joystick back and forth, up and down, instead of sideways. So if I go back, you can see the seat starting to go up. You're going to start roughly at 22 inches when you start, and by the time you're all the way up, 12 inches, you'll be at 34 inches, you will be eye level. That's why it says eye level, so you can talk to someone eye level, you can do your dishes looking down, you can grab stuff on the second shelf, it has a lot of benefit. Also, with the seat lift, it helps you get out. If you lift the seat up and put the foot plate up, you can slide out depending how high you want it. You can adjust the seat height to your preference, okay? So this is your seat lift right there. Let's look at the base on this chair. This is really a good looking power chair. Uh, for, this is a mid-wheel drive. So that, what mid-wheel drive means, you're, when you have a mid-wheel drive, your drive wheels are going to be roughly in the middle. Maybe not exactly in the middle, but they're going to be in the middle of your chair. When you have a mid-wheel drive, you're always going to have a wheel on the ground in front and a wheel on the ground in the back. And you have to have that suspension when you have the, wheels, the drive wheels in the middle. Okay, these are, mid-wheel drive has the best turning radius. This chair will turn within its own length. It'll turn a circle, okay? So we have 14 inch solid tires they're not going to mark your floor you have an anchor point here and here you can see how solid these are the these are the real ones this you can secure your chair here for transportation you have two on this side two on the opposite side you have a total of four okay you have a motor you can see the motor on this chair this is your motor it goes directly to the hub okay you can see it's connected to your hub if i want to push this chair let's just say i forgot to charge the chair or I have an issue with the chair and I need to move it around but I can't use the joystick. Well, I would make sure the power is off because you don't want no resistance in the motor. Turn the power off and you see this yellow handle? Push it down and what that does, it unlocks your wheel. Okay, then you can unlock both motors. There's one here. Do both of them and you can roll your chair in a circle or forward. When you're done, do not forget Put it back in gear. I get a lot of calls the next day. People put it in neutral. Nothing's working. You got to put it back in gear and then you're fine. Okay. Let's look at the base also in this chair. You can see the armature for the seat lift here. You can actually see the motor right here, the, uh, the actuator for the seat lift right here. It's exposed right there. Okay. Metallic silver. But I want to show you something else on this chair, on the quantums. You can see this really well in the quantum. It's the suspension. Okay. Look at this, folks. I'm going to put it. Put it back and drive. Oh, by the way, when the seat's elevated like this, folks, you can drive at three, four miles an hour, okay? I can't do it in here, but you can drive this chair with the seat elevated three to four miles an hour. But you see this shock right here in front? There's another one up there. There's another one there. These are big shocks. That shock takes care of this fork, and the other shock takes care of the other fork, and the one in the back takes care, this shock takes care of these two forks back there, okay? So these are independent. So if I raise this foot, this, you can see the other one stays on the ground. This chair weighs 400 plus pounds. They have a great, great ride because how heavy the chairs are, you're gonna have a fantastic, fantastic ride. So we're gonna put it back. We're gonna bring the seat down. As the seat's going down, I'm going to show you, this is called a swing away joystick. You notice the joystick was here, now it's here. 
This gives you a lot more room if you want to get close to a dining table without having to raise the whole arm up, okay? So we're going to bring the seat all the way down. The next feature, I'm going to move the joystick. I want the bottom yellow and the back yellow for tilt. There we go. Now I'm just going to push it back and you'll see the bottom go back. This is called the tilting positioning, okay? It's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back because they're all connected together. This is called electric tilt. This is good if you want to relieve pressure off your bottom, off your lower back. You just want to have circulation or you just want to relax. It's got a lot of benefits of a tilt. The next one we're going to do are the feet, the electric feet, okay? So now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how high these will go. This is, um, this is extreme. So if you want an extreme circulation, I'm going to show you how far up you can go. Look at that, folks. But you probably don't need to be that high. So if you just tilt the seat halfway up, I'm going to bring the seat halfway down. And folks, if you ever have one of these chairs and you have a red X in the corner, a lot of people call me during the week, that you have a red X, if it's a quantum, and you have a red X in a circle, red X, that means your seat is too tilted, too reclined, something's not right. You need to bring the seat down, the tilt down, and when they, they, then it'll turn green, then you can drive again. So if you cannot drive the chair and you have a red X, to get rid of that X so you can go back in driving, you need to bring the seats to a certain position lower than what it is now, then the chair will be able to drive again. So we've covered three of the electrical function. And the fourth function on this chair is called the electric recline. That's just the back. So this is just this portion right here going back by itself. Nothing is moving here, but this positioning here. That's called the electric recline. There we go. So this is what it would look like if you were laying flat. It doesn't go any further than this. This is your laying down position. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring two functions at once. I'm bringing the legs down, I'm bringing the back up, because I can do this through the joystick. And right now I have a red X. Until the legs are down far enough and the back is high enough, it just turned green. So I could drive the chair right now if I wanted to. Okay, I'm going to bring the back, back up a little bit more. All right, so we're going to put it back in drive. So as I said earlier, it's a mid-wheel drive, so it turns on its own length. So if you're in the house, so if you're in the house, let me put the speed up a little bit. This is what it looks like if you're going to turn in a circle. Look at it, it turns on its own. I can stay in that same spot if I want to. You'll be able to do the same thing I'm doing when you, once you get good at driving your chair. Another thing this chair has, there's a little button right here. If I tap it, I have rear lights and headlights on both fenders. This chair is equipped factory lights front and back. Headlights and tail lights. Another thing this chair has, you notice right here, this is called an attendant control. I can drive this chair, I can walk behind this chair um, and switch the power from the front to the back. So right now it's still here. But if I hit this button right here, or this one, there we go. I've changed the driving, now you cannot drive it here anymore. You can only do it right here. And with this, I can drive it back and forward. So if you have a loved one that can't drive and you wanna drive them around outside, you wanna go for walks, you can, you can hold a joystick like this and walk with them. You can put it here, okay, and put your hand here, and you can go like this and drive the chair this does take a couple days to get used to it, at least two or three days of you practicing outside, okay? This is also good if you have to move someone in a house on carpet, you have to go up a ramp, uh, you don't have to push. You just use this and you can get your loved one up the ramp. I'm gonna switch back to the front, I'm just gonna switch it back, and I'm gonna turn the power back on. So you have an attendant control. You also have a custom headrest. This headrest, folks, is custom, okay? What I mean by custom, let me see if I can turn the chair around so I can show you. This headrest, these can be put almost against your ears. There's little, there's a zipper back here if I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so you can see it from here. You probably just, I could probably just tell you, but I want to show you. Right here, 
there's a there's a hinge you put your allen wrench in here there's one on both sides and you can adjust it wide open wide shut anything you want to do this is a custom headrest for people that have trouble keeping their head on the headrest right now I would say it's half opened but as I said you can bring it like this so that tells you what you can do with this headrest okay this is a custom headrest you do have the seat on this chair folks is 20 by 20 roughly but we can size up these chairs according to your height and weight so whatever your height and weight is we can size up these seats if it's too big we can take the cushion off we can make the seat the pan smaller we can change the back cushion we can size them up for you at no extra charge safety belt as i mentioned earlier flip up arm when you charge your chair you'll take your quantum charger right here and you'll plug it right here and as soon as the light goes from orange to green the charger will stop charging okay these are smart chargers they will not overcharge your chair this chair we're going to turn the lights off this chair has a 300 pound weight capability top speed six miles an hour distance on one battery charge is up to 15 miles so up to 15 miles means best condition in the world so if you're outside going uphill you're in the grass you're going six miles an hour the uh, user is a little bit heavy you're not going to get 15 miles but you're going to get a long long ways okay so let's recap quantum edge 3 power chair from pride mobility this is the high-end power chair from pride mobility quantum department this chair has eight miles it's practically brand new it has the 12 inch seat lift the electric tilt the electric recline the electric feet it has the flip up arm the swing away joystick and by the way if you're left-handed we can put everything on the left side you have the safety belt you have the custom headrest you have the attendant control you have the solid tires the anchor point the suspension we talked about this is truly truly a really nice high-end power chair uh, made by pride mobility so this is the quantum edge 3 power chair top speed is 6.2 miles an hour that's what i read on the odometer speedometer i should say you notice how the chair stops also if i go really fast like this and i let go it has a built-in brake because it has electromagnetic brakes which reduces the chair to a crawl to a stop within a few feet you can use the joystick as a gas pedal looks like in your car so if i just push it a little bit i'm barely moving as you can see if i push it all the way i can go full speed or you can reduce your speeds there's four speeds on here one two three four and uh, you can work on the first speed which is really slow but i have it on fast so i don't want to scare anybody i want you to know that you can also do the first the first speed would be about this fast right here this would be your first speed okay these chairs the suspension on these chairs is just phenomenal folks you're not going to believe until you have one of these how great they ride doesn't seem to have any problem in the grass and you can feel the suspension because my grass is real bumpy so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to elevate the seats so you can see me driving the chair with the seat elevated so I know some of you know what I'm going to say if you're going to drive this chair with a seat elevated flat 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 surface real good 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 ground okay they are expensive they're nice chairs we do have to take care of them so this is the seat lip and this chair should go that that's the perils are being next to an airport so this chair will go about three to four miles an hour with the seat elevated as you can see right here 4.1 miles that's incredible be elevated that's that's almost running speed so if you're looking for a nice power chair with eight miles with the 12 inch seat lift the electric tilt the electric recline the electric feet the headlights on the on the fenders this would be a nice chair right here hi i'm mark and my name is alex we're co-owners of mark's mobility i started this company in 1995. we sell many products not just what you see in this video if you have any questions or concerns please call us at the number below at 800 
677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.